So I'm going to rush on now. And now we're going on to Diane Garland. At, and she's going to be talking about a midwife's Christmas. She's obviously got a passion for midwifery and for water birth. So you know uh, Diane from her sessions on water birth. She started her own uh, company in 2005, Midwife Expert. And she's been doing a lot of, um, well, she was before the, the uh, pandemic, a lot of uh, global work but now works a lot online, talking about water birth. She works clinically in a local hospital, supporting low and high complex, highly complex mums and babies. She's had four book, books published, unless I've missed one, Diane. I hope okay. not. So welcome. The screen is now yours, Diane. Thank you very much. I'm uh, just going to share my screen. I only have three slides, which hopefully they're going to come up. Um, because Sue asked me to um, just talk a little bit about <clears throat> uh, a Christmas box selection. So these are my midwifery memories. <clears throat> now, this was actually just before I qualified. This was my first Christmas as a senior student midwife. And I think the thing to remember in those days, uh, we all lived in, uh, we all lived on the same corridor and we shared just about everything. <clears throat> Now, this was the time where students didn't get a long break at Christmas. So I thank Nicolette for saying how different it is now, although I'm not saying you don't work. It's just different type of work. But everyone in my set, and there were 17 of us, everyone except one person was given Christmas Day off. And the one person who wasn't was our Caribbean colleague, um, Christine Fortune, I will never forget her name. And she was the only one that got Christmas off. And of course, she couldn't have gone home. So she made us um, a Caribbean Christmas lunch. And I found this photograph online, which I think for many people may sum up um, a traditional Caribbean food. Um, we had all the tables um, laid out in the corridor. We had sheets that we had borrowed <clears throat> from the wards um, to make our white tablecloths. And that's how I spent my first ever Christmas way back, as you can see, long time ago in yeah, 1982. Now, we have to have some lightheartedness. We all know it's been an incredibly difficult um, two years. I've carried on working. But there was a time um, where, you know, the, the, the fun bit out of Christmas was wearing funny hats at deliveries. And I can remember wearing a Father Christmas hat, <laughs> would you believe doing a water birth, which of course fell off halfway through the birth anyway. But it wasn't being facetious. It wasn't being um, over funny. It was to bring some laughter into an amazing time in families, midwives, colleagues' lives. And we have to hang on to that. We all know how difficult these last two years have been. So, yeah, we used to wear funny Christmas hats. Um, there was a time where we even used to wear Christmas dangly earrings. I have no idea what um, Jackie might think about that, <laughs> our, our, our infection colleagues as well. But, you know, life was very different back in the 80s and 90s. And then the final one I just want to share, because, of course, it is so important. Christmas memories are all about the Christmas families. And yes, this is just a stock photo of a very cute baby with his or her, don't know the sex of the baby, um, Christmas outfit on. But please remember there are colleagues and there are families who are going through very difficult times um, as normal with um, fetal losses and baby losses. So we do hang on to those memories at this time. And I've had colleagues I've lost this year and colleagues who have lost family this year. So those thoughts and memories are there. And the final photo is Father Christmas. But this is actually, and it goes back to the Christmas with colleagues. This is um, Paul, where I work. He's our IT maternity manager. And every year, Paul dresses up as Father Christmas. He's done it already this week. And he will lead the way for all of our memories for hopefully this year and beyond. So lots of memories, lots of times, and lots of times ahead. I'm still practicing, as Sue very kindly said, and I foresee that to continue for as long as they want me. And I feel useful to my families that I work with and, of course, colleagues. So have a safe, happy Christmas and New Year. Thank you, Sue.
Wonderful, Diane. Thank you so much. And, and thank you for reminding us that there are people who are going to have a different feeling over Christmas, because if you've lost anybody, you're in a different mindset and it, it, it feels more at Chris, in, over the festive period or whenever. So thank you very much, Diane. It's always good when you get a group of midwives together because you'll always have some fantastic reminiscences. I'm saying that mainly to Nicolette for your future. <laughs> in 20 or 30 years time, this will be you.